Hi guys. So, um, let me turn my radio down. Don't want YouTube getting mad at me. Um, that's the windshield wipers. It's raining. It's Oregon. So, I just got back from the dentist. Like, I did the dentist last Monday on 30th of October. Um, that was a cleaning and a whole bunch of pictures and x-rays and assessment. And today we went over the potential costs. So, in my medical dental savings fund, I've got just over 1700 bucks saved up. 1700 Yeah, 17700 Um, and he gave me an estimate for how much it's going to cost to get my whole mouth fixed, and that is out of pocket $7,000. $318 plus or minus. Um, I have pretty good dental insurance, but I th think it maxes out at like $2,000, $2,500 every year. And uh, we're going to work on maxing it out every year. So, um, first thing that I have to get done is I've got a crown that I knew needed replaced and this dentist thinks that it has a well he knows that there's a, a cavity under it under behind it um, and I've got alarms going off dismiss okay um, so there's a cavity under behind it He's gonna take it off, see if it just needs some work, or it's basically a 75-80% chance he's gonna have to do an extraction on it. Um, so he's talking about it as if it's just an extraction. It's more money if it's not an extraction, I believe, because then he has to make the crown. Yeah. Um... So, it's a lot of money, and uh, basically all that I really have money saved up for is an extraction and fixing some cracking teeth for now, and maybe a cleaning in May, May, April, May, something like that, anyway. Then I will be having used up my savings, plus I will have used up my uh, dental insurance <laughs> for the year, and uh, that refreshes in October, so that's good. I've got until October.
relative differences in humans. <laughs> um, it, cognitive deficiencies is, is what it originally was, the attention deficit. And attention is a, is a cognitive frontal lobe thing. You have to plan and you have to prioritize and that's how attention works. But in people who are deficient, they can't make their attention work how they want it to. Anyway, so I learned I have ADHD. I also learned that I've got a gluten intolerance. Um, I don't know if it's an actual allergy. I tested positive for antibodies. The don't need fourth year. Um, the dairy allergy sensitivity. Like, I knew I had a sensitivity from back when I was a kid. Um, but to get a blood test is a lot different than... Sorry, this is probably, like, super wobbly. I'm out on a country road, driving between country towns. One country town's big enough to have a couple of dentists in it, and some nice grocery stores. Mine is not as much. Anyway, so, I don't know, 2017, it's been a lot of learning, a lot, a lot, a lot of learning, and, uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm really grateful, a couple things I wish wouldn't have happened, like, my cat was still alive, um, I wish that my insurance would have worked out the first time instead of finding the the piece of paper from when I settled on a credit card. Oh, that's a piece of information. If you settle with a debtor, a debt, debtor, anyway, if you settle on a debt, whatever amount that they write off, it can be considered taxable income. Yeah, because the feds taxed me too, not just my state. Um, in my state of Oregon, we do income taxes. So I got taxed by my state and I got taxed by the feds on $5,000. Anyway, anyway. So we'll see what happens with that. And then next year, this will be fun, 2017's taxes. I, uh, only have held one job this year, so that'll be, that'll be kind of nice. That'll make it a little bit simple. Um, I haven't paid off nearly as much money on my student loans as years gone by, but we'll see what happens with that. or something and they sent I don't know they deposited a bunch of money I have I still have a Navy Federal account from back when I was in the Navy um, Navy Federal Credit Union it's a credit union that's who I had my credit card through I had um, from when I was in the Persian Gulf I also had a bunch of like I had, <laughs> I had a couple of savings accounts and a it wasn't really a CD per se, it was a savings certificate account. So I would just, I was getting duty free, not duty free, tax free, eminent danger, hazardous duty pay. Uh, yeah, so I was getting, I was getting quite a bit. I made, um, in the year, 
don't have access to my federal pay stubs anymore. I don't know if I've got, um, I had my mom filing my taxes for me because I was stationed in Japan. So I would just send all of my paperwork to her every year <clears throat> and she would file it. And then my, uh, my tax returns would go to a bank account that she had set up for me through her bank and that was the money that she used to uh, keep my car insured while I was gone and also keep my car registered with the state to be able to drive it so when I came home I could just get in my car because it was insured and had good tabs things that I couldn't do from Japan. Um, yeah. So anyway, shaggy dog. Dentist is going to be a lot more expensive than the other dentist was going to be. Um, big difference was a year. I don't know if, well, maybe like a year and a half. I think it was a year. Um, I don't know if the other dentist had looked into my teeth nearly as intensively as this guy did. Um, I don't know. I'm mostly worried about having that tooth pulled because well, as soon as you get a gap in your teeth, you're putting more stress on the other side of your mouth. And then, yeah. So that's not something that I'm, I'm not going to want to leave a gap in my teeth for very long. Just because my teeth move enough as it is. Um, I had orthodontics and they, they had to move my teeth slow, but they still moved like really fast. Like I, they, they estimated that it was going to take like 24 months or something to do my teeth to get my teeth all lined up in orthodontics and then it like took 18 months and I just sat with the same braces on for a couple months while my teeth started anchoring again. They were really kind of surprised. Anyway, I don't know. Teeth, they're expensive. Ah, bummer. Oh well, I think the shock is wearing off the uh, the shock of having having to have a tooth pulled that was kind of surprisingly shocking actually the shock of the money I hadn't even really absorbed that I filmed another little clip before this it was like five minutes long talking about how much the dentist is gonna cost and like through filming that and talking about it, it started to sink in just how much money this is going to cost. And my dental insurance is tiered that eventually it'll start covering more and more, like 100%. Like right now I'm at 80%. Next year is 90%. And then 100%. But the amount of coverage, like the maximum benefits doesn't go up. It just means that you can get uh, less, less out of your pocket. Oh, I hate this intersection. Less out of your pocket and you can, uh, I don't know, use it up faster. I don't know. Anyway. I gotta pay attention to this this intersection people die at, so I'm gonna go. Bye guys!